hopefully new year of tutorials um, again on FRC Sim. So I'm just going to start this one off by showing off this uh, PID that I've tuned. Um, we're using the double pendulum with base model. This is one of the standard models you can find in Gazebo. This should be right here. Um, I modified it so it has a uh, DC motor and an encoder in it, and that was pretty easy. Um, I'll show you right now. Yeah, so I basically just copied it into a new folder, renamed it, and then all of this is the same. The links and the joints, all that part is the same. Um, what I changed was I just added these like 20 lines or so down here. So of course you need the clock plug-in because all robots need that. You need, we got one motor, we got another motor. So this one's on PWM1, this one's on PWM2, and then we have our encoder on digital 1 or 2 in degrees. And that took like five minutes. And then I wrote a simple C++ program um, that does that and also prints this out just for funsies. And I'm using live window right now, so that's enabled. So if I go ahead and I disable this PID, so I'm only controlling this node right here. I didn't bother setting up the other one. But so if I set this to zero, and so we're doing displacement, right? So that should be position control, okay? so this is what we're looking at and then we go 90 degrees okay you can see there really isn't any jitter either like it really does settle um, and then we've got like negative 90 and there's also very little overshoot um, there's a little I mean it's you know it's not perfect but and we can go up to 180 and again you can see it's, it's pretty good um, so I thought I would just show this off and again my so my strategy here was let's start this over all right, so you get you give a set point, let's say ninety, right, and then you start with p. So start with one. Okay, well that's like definitely too much because uh, it's oscillating a lot on the set point. So disable that, change that again. So order of magnitude at first. Okay, still seems like too much, but maybe not. So let's try point oh one. Okay, that's obviously not enough. So now we binary search. So halfway would be 0.05. Okay, so we're, we want to make sure this at least gets up to 90. Okay, so it's not getting to 90. So 0.75. Still not getting there. 0.875. And at some point we should realize, yeah, okay, so maybe there's 0.1. Alright, so if we disable this, right, we want to see it get to 90. Okay, so that goes that actually goes over 90 a little bit. So that's let's let's stick with that. So now you can do either of these next. Personally, I do D first just because I think that makes sense. So let's again order of magnitude at first. So we said that. Okay, so that's settled, but not at the set point. We'll get to that in a second. So let's try zero. Okay, nice. So the D right. So without D, if we go from 90, oops, to zero it's gonna go way past it see that swing right but if we have D you can see it kinda just it slows down right so that's controlling the rate of change of the error so that's makes sense we try 180 nice okay so now the only problem is it doesn't work for these 90 degree cases um, we don't have enough output because it's like sagging slightly under, but it's good for the rest of the thing. So now we're going to do I, right? Because I is accumulation of error over time. And since this is not reaching its set point, it's at a, it's reached equilibrium, not at the set point. If we said I, then that should fix it. So again, so just start with one. Okay, so that's too much because it's oscillating. Um, try a few other set points just to see how that generalizes. Yeah, so that's oscillating definitely too much. So let's try point one. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's try 90. And success, we've reached 90. And it's also not jittering. So try a few more set points. Let's see if you're happy with it. Nice. And from there, you kind of, so now you have a good system, but it may not meet all your requirements. Like, it may not be fast enough. So then maybe you go back and you, 
you increase p and you see like what that does to your system. Okay, so now we know we know this one now we have more overshoot. And of course you could also um, could definitely uh, graph this. I think there's a way to do that. I think you might actually have to do that in um, uh, yeah, you have to do that um, from within like you can't do it all as one big thing but if you break this out into a separate smart dashboard then you can do that make it a make it a graph like a separate uh, data thing on smart dashboard okay so yeah that's a great example of tuning a PAD I'm probably gonna put this model on my github but um, like I said you should really figure out how to edit it yourself because this is pretty much as easy as it as it gets